Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup to get ready for a job. And I thought I would just turn on the camera and show you the makeup that I'm doing. It's going to be very, very minimal. Um, I want my makeup to look just very clean, very fresh. What's new? Um, but for this particular job, um, I want the makeup to be just very natural and nothing too dramatic. So anyway, I thought I would just take you along with me and show you the makeup that I'm doing. And for those of y'all who like everyday kind of natural glowy makeup looks... I thought you would enjoy this. So I just curled my hair, so it's a little poofy. Um, and please ignore my horrendous roots. I will hopefully be fixing that in the near future, but for now, we're just going to say that this is an ombre. All right, so I'm just gonna get put my hair back so I can actually do my makeup. All right, so like I said, for this look, I want it to be very fresh, very dewy, very just natural, um, kind of like a, really like a timeless, just effortless look that's going to look good for a long period of time. Um, so I'm going to start out with my PYT One and Done Setting Spray. I've already done my skincare routine and all that jazz, but uh, I just want to kind of re-moisturize my face. It's been a while since I've done my skincare, and um, I've been loving this. I mentioned in my monthly makeup kit video that this is very, very, very similar to the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. Oh, and it just smells delightful. I think it's the Ylang Ylang. It smells so good. It's got hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, aloe. It's got a bunch of really lovely ingredients. I don't, they didn't have the ingredients on the bottle, otherwise I would read it to you. Um, but absolutely lovely. Wow. Whoa, that is a very large fly. So uh, I do want natural makeup, very like effortless makeup, but I still want it to be flawless and full coverage. So I'm going to take my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I use this in the shade Warm Ivory. And I have a whole review dedicated to Hourglass. So if you want to know my thoughts on this foundation and just more details, definitely check that out. I'll link it up here. Um, but, spoiler alert, I really do enjoy this foundation. So, I'm going to use my one of my favorite, Alim, uh, favorite foundation brushes. This is the Alima Pure Foundation Brush. I typically use the um, brush that come, or that goes with the foundation, which is this one by Hourglass. But, because I want a little bit more of a natural not super super high coverage. I want high I want full coverage, but I don't want too much product on the skin. I'm taking a larger buffing brush just to really spread the foundation across my entire face. If you use a smaller dense more dense brush, um I find that it gives you more coverage. So, I still want coverage, but I don't want to cake on the foundation too much. I hope y'all had an awesome week. Uh, as you're watching this, it'll be Thursday, I believe, if I if I can get it up in time. Um, but I hope you're having a really great week so far. This week has been so crazy for me. I've been so busy with the kids, between the kids, and like just work stuff. It's been a week, but honestly, I kind of thrive off of that. And um, when things are kind of hectic, I feel like... I feel better because I feel like I've achieved more and I'm more productive, but I kind of thrive off the kind of high pressure life, so, but things will get very interesting <laughs> in the next couple weeks because my kids are about to be out of school, and uh, yeah, we'll see how <laughs> uploading consistently goes. I might be doing a lot of very chill get ready in my bedroom videos because that's actually quite easy to do with my kids just kind of playing around the house but filming in my actual office it is quite difficult oh my gosh such a lovely lovely foundation definitely my favorite foundation stick formula all right so for a little bit of concealer I'm going to take my bare minerals liquid mineral concealer 
Ooh, that's quite, quite pink. Um, this hourglass foundation is very, very, um, more on the kind of warm yellow side. So this is showing up very pink up against that. That's okay. We'll blend it out. It'll be fine. Um, this is the shade medium 3C, which is very, very cool, which I typically like, but up against this hourglass foundation, it's showing up very, very peachy pink, which actually is quite nice for the under eye. It's funny how when you pair different undertones together, it can really bring out the undertones, and especially when you're doing like something cool on top of something that's warm or vice versa. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it can make the difference so much more dramatic. So I'm going to take my Hourglass, I always forget the name of this, Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm going to set my face down. I chose this one because it is a little bit more of a glowy, kind of luminous setting powder. So I want to set everything down, but I still want it to, I don't want my skin to look matte. So I'm actually going to use my sponge to press this into the skin, lock it in. We're not playing any games today. And I'm actually going to set my whole face with the sponge, just to really press it in there. And I think when you're wanting co coverage, as well as, you know, long wearing reliable makeup, I think it really truly is about using the right products to wear, um, you know, you can take those extra measures like using a damp sponge to press in your powder or use a more high coverage foundation without it looking heavy. It really does kind of depend on the products that you're using. So um, like if I were to do this method with another foundation or another powder or really matte powder or just a really heavy foundation, like this would not work. But I think it's just all about finding those right products that you can be a little bit more heavy with and you can get that coverage with, but it's never going to look too, too uh, heavy or cakey or dry on the skin. All right, we are nice and set down. I'm gonna go in with highlighter first, actually, for bronzer. And because I am doing photo today, I want to pull out my Danessa Myricks Lightwork palette. This These highlighters photograph so beautifully. So I'm going to use this today, and I'm just going to take my normal little combination, these three shades. And I am going to go a little bit heavy-handed with these, more than normal, because I am going to be doing photo. I want, I want this to really show up. And I'm going to take my sponge and just press that in. Do you see this fly? He is like all up in my business right now. So now for some bronzer, um, I'm going to use my Lila B Be Sunkiss bronzer. I like this one because it has a nice natural sheen to it and it just looks it's just so natural on the skin. Um, and I think it is because of that little bit of a sheen to it. I also find that this shade and just this undertone works really well uh, with my skin. And I don't want to look overly bronzed today. I don't want it to look like I have a ton of bronzer on. I want it to be very natural and very subtle. So I'm gonna take this really large double-ended hourglass brush, really work my brush into there, tap off the excess. And I'm using a larger brush because, again, I don't want that super precise bronzer application. I want it to be just a nice sun-kissed, little bit of definition, little bit of dimension, little bit of color, but nothing that looks too harsh or too stripey on the skin and that's also why I'm not doing any kind of contouring all right and then for blush I'm going to take my PYT heartbeat cheek color in the shade hustle I'm not sure if they still have this shade because they've since you know redone all their packaging and everything I don't know if they kept their same uh blush shades but I know they have blushes um but I just really like this one so I'm gonna take it on my favorite refer 04 and just hit that right on the apples. And I think I'll even take a little bit up, just right here, right into my hairline on my forehead. 
just to tie everything together. All right, now here's, oh my gosh, I don't know if y'all can hear my stomach growling. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've been like, everything's been so crazy this morning. I have not eaten one thing. I've been drinking so much coffee, which is not good. And my stomach is yelling at me. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go back in with my PYT one and done setting spray. The mister on this is quite aggressive. So when you're prepping your skin, it really doesn't matter. But on top of your makeup, I would suggest spraying it up into the air, pulling a little Emily Noel, spraying it up into the air and letting it fall on your face. And you get that really nice, soft, less aggressive mist. All right, so I'm gonna do my brows off camera because I wanna take my time, make sure they look really, really good and it takes me forever and we will be here forever if I do this on camera. So I'm gonna do my brows really quickly and then we'll come back and do a an eye look. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'll be back. All right, so for the eyes, I'm gonna use this PYT no BS eyeshadow palette. This is old. This was actually the first clean eyeshadow palette I ever bought. Um, if you remember, if you've been following me for this long, uh, I think around three, three years ago, maybe three and a half years ago, I did a full week of using all clean beauty. And that was kind of my real first introduction into clean beauty. And that's kind of when I started to transition to different makeup products. And I bought this palette and I've had it ever since. So I can't remember the exact name of it. I will link it down below. Of course, they've redone all their packaging now. Um, so I'll make sure that I link the correct one. I think they still have this. Not 100% sure. But um, I absolutely love this palette. I love the tones in here. It's a little bit more on the cool side, which I prefer. So I'm going to do something very, very natural. I'm going to take this shade right here. I don't have the shade names. Um, it had a little plastic cover over it. Again, it, the names have probably changed anyway. But just this kind of beige shade. And I'm just going to run this all over my lid. And then through the crease. And you could definitely use your bronzer for this step. I like this shade in particular because it is more cool toned. My bronzer is quite warm and I want to keep the eyes a little bit more on the neutral, cool side. Alright, I'm going to take that same shade and I'm going to run a little bit along my lower lash line. Alright, and then from the same palette, I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here, which is a really light cream color. I'm going to take it on that same fluffy brush. And I'm just going to use this to blend out that beige shade and I'm just gonna take this all the way up to the brow. And then I'm going to take this shade right here, which is like a shimmery taupe champagne. I'm going to take it on that same fluffy brush and just run this across my lid just to give the eyes a little bit of shine. All right, and then I'm gonna take this matte highlight shade here and just pop that in my inner corner. All right, so I was really messy with my mascara, so I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll just kind of flake it off with a Q-tip. Uh, but for the lip, I'm gonna take my favorite Aeroprez Shy lip pencil. Then, just for a little pop, I'm going to take this Fit Glow Lip Serum in Juice. This is a gorgeous color. It looks very vibrant, but these are, you know, pretty sheer. And just apply that mainly to the center of my lips. Alright guys, so this is just a... A typical look that I'll do if I need to do a job and I need my makeup to look very fresh, very natural, but still have definition to the face, still want to bring out my features and define the eyes so that, you know, it's, I'm not just like a blank canvas. I definitely want to give my skin and my features 
just a little bit of enhancement. This is kind of the look that I'll do. Um, it's full coverage, it's long wearing, it's gonna photograph very well, it's going to, I mean, in my opinion, I think it looks good on video. Y'all let me know what you think. Um, but it still looks on the natural side. So even though we've got all these like, even though we are full coverage, um, it still is more on the natural side. So I hope you enjoyed just hanging out with me and getting ready with me and maybe something in this video was helpful for you. Uh, I think this would be a great look for work if you work long hours, you know, or even just a normal like eight hour day. Um, this is a really great look because it's gonna wear well all day long and it doesn't look too heavy or cakey. It looks really good in person. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's always a blessing to be here and sit with y'all and chat and do makeup. I just absolutely love this. So thank you for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.